walking and driving. The first year that we picked up garbage on the Highway of Heroes, we picked up three, uh, $358 worth of uh, alcohol containers. And I, if you're getting 10 cents, Second, <laughs> second year you're doing this? Uh, first, first time. Tell me what this uh, means to you. Um, I just love helping out the community, and I think this is like a really good cause. Since I know the story behind it now, I really appreciate doing this. Are you surprised at the amount of garbage? Yeah, there's a lot, and it's like everywhere. And this is only like a small part of the highway, and so I'm assuming there's so much more. All the more special that it's uh, this ramp is in honor of a fallen soldier. Of course, of course. They, um, will you come again? Oh yeah, I'd love to. I mean, when you yeah. see the alcohol containers, do you see you know that's the type of thing that's on our roadways? Yeah, it's really sad to see all the alcohol because there's a lot of it, and it's really bad. Great job you guys are doing. It's, it's not you. something you expect to be doing on a Saturday, or is it? Of course not. No. <laughs> Laying my bed. Happy to be here? Of course.
doing your civic duty. You're honoring my daughter, which makes me so happy. And I can't thank you enough, guys. So therefore, I'm treating everybody to lunch and you get order whatever you want, okay? <laughs> Whoops. Diane, one, uh, one question. What do you think of all this? Uh, I'm almost speechless, Pete. The fact that these young men come out year after year to help clean this highway, it's, I'm just overwhelmed by it and love every minute being out here. Carrie, tell me about this. Uh, how long have you been doing this for and again, uh, out and again? Uh, we started in 2016 honoring Major Michelle Knight Mendez, uh, the 118th soldier to be carried home from the Afghanistan war and cleaning the Highway of Heroes with their, her mom, uh, Diane. And so we're now 2024. And so uh, a couple years ago, we started doing Youth Day on the Highway of Heroes. So bringing uh, uh, youth from Kingston to come up to meet a mother of a fallen soldier, to learn about the sacrifices. We start talking about uh, what the Highway of Heroes is, how it started, how it worked how we honor our fallen soldiers and so we start talking in Trenton and by the time we get to Grafton I've pointed out that we remember signs I pointed out the Highway of Heroes signs we uh, honor Michelle's mom with a very small small token of appreciation with flowers and talking about her daughter and never forgetting to say Michelle's name it's one of those things and all that's amazing but again we come back to the the environment the garbage yeah so we were talking about that as well just uh, we have new volunteers every year so that we can expand the youth's knowledge and I was explaining that we're out here to honor a fallen soldier to pay our respects to a mother of a fallen soldier and but yet there's this aspect of garbage so we talked about how um, whether you're on the if you're on an on or off ramp looking at the garbage if it's on the right side or the left side who could have been throwing it could have been the driver could have been the passengers what has more and it does come back unfortunately we just came from the north side and the way the ramp is there's no way a passenger or a driver could be um, getting the garbage that far up the hill a lot of bags full of fecal matter a lot of urine containers it has to be the truckers it, it does it doesn't make sense for it not to be anybody else where they've pulled off from the hot, from the on ramp the off ramp and they they have gotten out and they've chucked it up the hill it doesn't make sense to me it never will make sense to me to live in Canada a beautiful country and people are still littering like that still boggles my mind but you know explaining to the youth pointing out certain types of garbage for them to be educated. The youth that I have with me today, they're going to be getting their license next year, talking to them about don't litter, don't allow your passengers to litter, and then to pointing out all the alcohol containers. Still to this day, the amount of alcohol containers that we pick up is astonishing. So uh, pointing out what side did we pick up the alcohol containers? Was it on the passenger side? Was it on the driver's side? Letting them know that one, don't drink and drive, but also be conscious of the fact that um, there are people that are drinking and driving it's a wealth of knowledge this highway this sacred stretch of highway is yes. a wealth of knowledge um for service and sacrifice for education about our country and to uh honor our country honor the fallen but keep canada beautiful yeah exactly because what i was explaining to uh the young men that i have with me today that somebody throws out garbage but that eventually, some of that ends up in the waterways. That eventually ends up in some of the animals' um, uh, bellies. Like it, the, the ripple effect of not honoring our fallen, not respecting our um, Canadian Armed Forces members, that is a ripple effect in itself. The ripple effect of not uh, of um, littering is is vast. They could write papers on it. And so one of the things that the boys do in grade nine is they write a paper on acts of kindness, um, acts of volunteerism. And, and they, the youth that I had last year, they specifically wrote about um, this experience on the Highway of Heroes because those youth came out for the spring and fall clean. And, and this group of students will come out for the spring and fall clean as well.